when you come to Thailand, you probably don't imagine seeing pigs on beaches. You probably imagine beautiful white sand beaches and turquoise waters just like this. In today's video, we've hired a private long tail boat to the islands of Koh Mat San and Koh Tan for some private snorkeling. Let's do it. Starting another day getting picked up from the hotel with Mr. Samui. And we're going from that into one of these bad boys. How you doing, bro? Yeah. Nice to meet you. You okay? So we just met our captain and we're about to board the long tail. It's a private boat trip over to Pig Island. We're gonna see lots of exciting stuff. How you feeling, Kevin? Tired. How was your nap in the back of the bill? Not enough. Not enough? It's never enough, is it? Nothing's enough for you. Hello. It's a hard life, isn't it? Hello. Traveling. We're up. Hey. Sunblock, 15. You need to factor 100. Doesn't exist. Oh, well, that should exist for you. Okay. So we're starting with a 15 minute long tail boat trip over to Koh Tan Island for some snorkeling. Really excited because this is going to be a private long tail boat trip from Tong Crude area, which is the little fishing village. Loads of different drivers that you guys can, you know, pay a driver that can take you on his boat over to this, uh, to this trip. But I'm really excited because the sun's out. I'm feeling good. I want to get a bit of a tan and I also want to get a really, really good video for you guys. We're getting to the islands on a private long tail boat, but that's not a boat engine. That's a car engine. And that is because boat engines are incredibly expensive. So we're actually driving a boat with a diesel car engine. So our first stop where we're snorkeling today is just off the coast of Koh Tan Island. Now there's only 40 people that actually live on this island and there used to be about 500, but when Koh Samui got you know, big with tourism, everybody shifted from here over there. But the guys that still live here, the five families, they make their living from you know, the restaurants that are on here, from the tourists that come in. They don't have any electricity, they just use um, engines and solar power. There's a really small temple over there that, you know, it's, most unique looking temple I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing spot for snorkeling. We just threw some bread in and so many fish. It's so, so peaceful. The water's so calm. Always wear sun cream, kids, because this is, uh, this is not what you want on the top of your neck. Redness, burn. So get the factor 50 on there. Get it covered. And ideally, wear a t-shirt. Where are you from? Island. How making money off my difficulties and struggles. How unfortunate. Very excited for today's snorkeling because we didn't see much the other day because we had a bad storm over at Ang Tog. If you haven't seen that video, National Park, amazing. Check it out, click on that card. Camera rolling. Let's do it. Whoa! So sick, so many fish. Best tip though, bring a bit of bread because that is how to get all the fish over to where you're swimming. Just a little bit of bread, a little bit of a baguette. Doesn't matter which one it is, just throw it in. They will be everywhere. But cover your boobies because they got mistaken for bread. <laughs> this is how business is done between boats. At Komatsan and Kotan. Bananas? We got bananas, we got some uh, fuel for us. <laughs> but it is time to move on from here because this is the time that all the other boats have come here, all the other tour companies. We've got Intercontinental, we've got other, loads of other people. So we got here first thing in the morning, so make sure you come really early if you want that kind of peaceful, nobody else swimming. This island used to be called No Dogs Island. So there's two reasons there's no dogs on this island. Yeah. One, because there's a Muslim spirit and they don't like dogs. Yeah. And the other reason is there's a bat cave and the dogs don't like the uh, frequency that the yeah, bats give off. Yeah, the bat give off, wow. 
He used to study here in the school when he was young. Serious? The captain? Yeah. The captain. Used to live here and study? Yeah. Damn. Every time you get to these islands and you see the guide pick up a stick, that's not to help him walk, that's just in case you get attacked by a wild buffalo. So he's got something to defend us. So we've come really off the, uh, the beaten path, I guess you could say, in Koh Tan, just following uh, the boat driver to the school that he used to attend. But we're here in all sorts in these in these woods, we heard maybe a monitor lizard coming out of the water. Shook us up a little bit. It's definitely shaking me up a little bit. A bit crazy to see that old school that he went to around 45 years ago. You can actually still see the board where they obviously used to teach the pupils. From Kotan, it's still very wild. Like at night time, you'll find buffalo just wandering on the beach. Some of the locals will, as well will actually hunt boar for food. So we've just seen a local just picking up coconuts on his on his bike and yeah he just he lives here and that's his way of life he just collects the coconuts maybe sells them eats them i've got to say though this is not the prettiest place this is not what you're gonna imagine with those postcard picturesque thailand coastlines it is filthy here uh, that's in part due to the storms but also they really don't take care of these beaches uh, a long time ago there was quite a bit of tourism coming to here and they've just not cleaned up all the trash so I wouldn't say that this is an essential stop on your itinerary. Well, that was it for Koh Tan so we're heading back on the long tail and we're going to where sir? Madsum Island. Island to see the piggies. Pig Island. So we've made it to Koh Matsun otherwise known as Pig Island and I was expecting it to be a bit quieter. It is in fact full of tourists because um, it's not actually a secret anymore. Lots of people know about Pig Island. It isn't quite what I imagined with like pigs just bathing in the ocean. It is full of tourists. Everybody comes here and just like hounds the pigs basically. Um, so you've got to find like the best chance to just jump in there and get a photo with them. Oh, look at this guy! <laughs> this is mental. Why are there pigs in Thailand? These things aren't actually native to Koh Mat Son. A farmer decided to bring them here and uh, turn it into a tourist attraction. And now Koh Mat Son has the name Pig Island. <laughs> They don't just have pigs, they also have little, little chicks. How cute. And so we are having lunch on the farmyard, I guess you call it, <laughs> with the pigs. But um, yeah, we got some chicken, minced chicken, uh, chicken wings, and what's that soup? Tom yum soup. Tom yum soup, so very local Thai style, with some beautiful views of the mainland and yeah, the ocean. Now there is a story about why the pigs are here and it does have like a billboard and it says that he saved them from a slaughterhouse and he brought the pigs here and decided to look after them on this island but apparently the actual reason that the pigs were brought here is because there's a restaurant and the pigs were brought here to eat the wasted food and it has gradually over time become a tourist attraction and people actually come here now for the pigs rather than the restaurant and the beach. Not the most glamorous place, I'd probably spend maximum about 15 minutes there just see the pigs. It's now time to head back to base. But I do think this was the correct day to come to Pig Island because we're looking over at Koh Samui right now and there's a massive rainstorm. Not looking forward to heading back over there. And we are back to where we started. And fortunately the rain has gone to Ang Tong apparently. We've got clear skies over this way. Did get a little bit of rain. It's time to head back to the hotel. Step on the foot. So careful not to step on the collars, the little scarves on the end of the boat because that's there to protect the boat of the uh, spirits. Cop on cab. Thank you. Hi, bro. See you soon. Nice one. Thank you. 
So we're just at the spa back at the Beaufort Resort and we're just smelling some of the different oils that we might be using for today's massage. Mm, nice, that was rose, not bad. We are of course back at the Beaufort Resort and Spa and we're just gonna enjoy the next 90 minutes with a lovely massage at the hotel. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye, bye Since our time in Samui was up. Hi bro, thank you. Nice. We made our way over to the Hard Ring Queen Pier before taking a 50 minute boat trip over to Koh Panyan, where we'll be spending the next few days. I mean, for 200 baht, you can't go wrong. It was only 50 minutes. Um, there are speedboats, Lomprea, which is 350 baht, and that's about 20 minutes. But considering 200 baht, you can't go wrong. Wow, are we traveling in here? Yeah, yes, sir. I love this. So we get private pickup from the pier from the Paravana Hotel. So we are just en route to the hotel, but we had to make a stop off because en route, look at what we've seen. There are so many monkeys just at the side of the road being super cute. Absolutely amazing. Let's check into the resort. At this for a view and a welcome to this hotel. This is absolutely stunning. We've got an amazing sunset over there. And the hotel looks absolutely wicked. Really looking forward to this. Ah, thank you very much. Hello, welcome green, please. Hello. Hello. Mr. Christian. Okay, we thank you so much. Beautiful. You're welcome. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Bosh! <laughs> Branded coconut. <laughs> wow, this is absolutely lovely. This is a very unique looking room. I've never stayed in a hotel quite this stylish. stylish. Very stylish rooms, I'm gonna say. I imagine the views from here an hour ago would have been unbelievable. So you get an amazing sunrise. Well, sky would be amazing and the sunset would be even better. Lovely uh, little welcome into the bathroom and as we can see we've got quite a spacious area, same design and a lovely bath with some bubbles in it. Like it. I'm hungry. Dinner time. And that is it from Koh Samui. I can't wait to show you guys Koh Panyan. So we're going to enjoy this dinner and I'll see you guys in the next one.